Response to changes brought by COVID-19 pandemic, the PSU uses Microsoft Teams as the online learning platform for students. Let's try to discover how you can use the MS Teams for your learning. Your organizational accounts are posted in your PSU portal. To access, log in your portal account. Navigate to MS account link. Your MS account and a temporary password will be displayed. You will be required to change your password in your first login to Microsoft. To log in your account, go to office.com. Click sign in. In the sign in page, Enter your MS account and password shown in the portal. On this page, you can access services associated with your account. Navigate to the Teams link. You may download the desktop app of the MS Teams, which we will demo later. You can use the web version of the MS Teams. That means you can use MS Teams even with any web browser. Once logged in, you may view your classes as Teams. You may have been added by your instructors and professors to their classes. Each team has a general channel in which you could see messages and files of everyone on the team. Your instructor or professor may create additional channels associated with specific students. Let's now download the desktop app, navigate to the bottom of the page. Save the file and install it. Enter your MS account and password. Interface of the desktop application is the same with the web version. Here you could see the Posts tab under the General channel. In the Files tab, you can browse the class materials uploaded by your instructors or professors. Your instructors may post assignments or quizzes in the Assignments tab. On other occasions, your instructor or professor will provide you a team code in order to join a class, go to all teams. Then, enter the code in the Join a Team with the Code portion. When your instructor posts a message, you will be automatically notified. You can post messages which include emoticons, like this. You can also send a private message to your instructors or co-students. Going back to the Files tab, you can download the file via selecting the file and click Download.
instructors can also schedule for virtual meetings which will be shown in the posts tab. The scheduled meeting will also be reflected in your calendar. When the meeting has been started, you can click the meeting in the calendar to join the meeting. You can select to turn on or turn off your video and microphone when joining. However, it is good etiquette to always mute your microphone when you are not using it or you don't want other people to hear anything from you. You will be able to view the video feed of your instructors when they lecture and also their presentation slides. You could enable or disable your video camera, microphone, virtually raise your hand, open conversation, and leave meeting in the buttons at the bottom part of the screen. In the conversation box, you can post your messages and queries during the lecture. Click the ellipsis button to open other advanced settings. When your instructor shares a presentation file, you will be able to automatically view it. When you want to leave the meeting, click the red end call button. To access assignments posted by your instructors, go to the Assignments tab. Attach your assignment file and click Turn In. Quizzes can also be facilitated within the MIS Teams. When your instructor created an online quiz, it will be posted in the Assignments tab. Click the quiz to open the forms and enter your answers. After submitting your answers, you will be able to check if your answers are correct. Thank you for watching the MS Teams orientation. Enjoy your learning at PSU.